everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. <laughs> Welcome to 2021's first triple play. I am here with Natalie and with Misty, and we are excited for this year. So for our quilt this time, we chose a good one, didn't we? We, we did. sure did. So this is a super simple block. It's an X's and O's block. And let me, what, should we show them the original so quilt? This, yeah. yeah, this is our inspiration and our challenge. I love this quilt, it's so pretty. I do too, it's classic. Way up, Ooh. girls. We've been, mom's been showing it at trunk shows for, for several years. years I now. love the fabric, I love the quilt, but this, you can't get this fabric anymore. It's way, way old, <laughs> but, um, but it's still a great project and super easy. So we looked at that and I think we came up with three pretty cool ideas. Yeah. Yep, yep. So we're gonna start with mine right back here. And uh, for my quilt, I'm calling this one Social Distance Hugs because the purpose of this block, it's called X's and O's. I chose to concentrate on the O's. Now, one little thing, I wanna tell a little story. When I was a little girl, my grandma used to send me cards, my grandma Fish. So I would get this card from my grandma's and it would say, Happy Birthday, Jenny. Um, love Grandma Fish, and she would always draw the fish, and then she would put X O X O on it. And I so forever, I didn't know what that meant, you know. Oh, oh, and funny. so I, I, when I started learning to read, I would say Happy Birthday, Grandma Fish. Qua qua, you know. I'm like, what does this mean? I was trying to sound out the X O, and my mom's like, Oh, Jenny, X's are kisses and O's are hugs. And so then I started watching because she would send my brother a card too for who would get the most X's and O's, oh. you know, because I I thought that was such a cool idea. So I love the X O, and sadly, I think that's really gonna gonna die with my generation because well, first of all, we don't send a lot of cards anymore, but X O X O. Our generation uses a lot of acronyms. Yes, and a lot they of do. I think so. They do, but I don't think I X O. I know what X's and O's mean. I yes. hope so. I hope we so. Do. I hope that lives on. <laughs> so my quilt today is called Social Distance Hugs because I took this O block and I put a sashing in between it, you know, separate apart. I thought it was kind of like a memoir to the last year where we had to not be close to each other. And I, um, I think it came out super, super cute. So you guys are gonna die when you see how easy it is to make this block because it's super easy. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is two packs of five inch squares. And we have used Animal Crackers by Sweetwater from Moda. It's a darling line, absolutely so darling. It's really cute. Um, you're gonna need a half a yard of accent fabric. And that is this um, sashing fabric right here. You're gonna need a yard and three quarters, which includes this inner border of your background fabric. Now I also, these are two and a half inch squares. So you can use a pack of pre-cut two and a half inch squares, or you can cut two and a half inch strips and sub cut them into two and a half inch squares, you know, but if you wanna just buy yard, uh, yardage, you're gonna need a yard and three quarters. All right, on this outer border, it's one and a quarter yards. And these are so cute, they're little tiny monkeys. Our little background back here is three and three quarter yards. We used the monkeys again, and I chose to use my sash or my binding is out of the same um, accent fabric that I used for my thing, and that's an additional hearts. three quarters of a yard for the binding. Yeah, and I love a I love a binding that pops. Yeah, anyway, it's really cute. All right, so let me show you how to make this because this is really fun. So you're going to take your five inch square right here, and you are going to take. Let's use this one; it'll show up better. And you are going to take two. Uh, two and a half inch squares. Now the math on this is halves, so you can really use any size square you want, but the corner squares are gonna be half that. So if you use an eight inch square, your corner squares are gonna be four. We're using a five inch square, your corner squares are gonna be two and a half. And so I'm gonna put mine right in the corner like this. And if you want, you can draw the line corner to corner. You can iron a line corner to corner. I'm gonna use my diagonal seam tape right here. And we are gonna sew corner to corner on both of these sides, just like this. And so, do you want to do it, Nat? Sure. All right. I'll let you line that up. All righty. So we're just sewing right down the center of that block from one corner to one corner. And you make sure your square is lined up in the corner of the block. There we go. That's hanging off a little bit. Yeah, it slid when I put Reposition it on there. Reposition that. <laughs> there you go. All right. So now you have made the entire quilt. You do this to every block, and that's, <laughs> that's it. it. 
Yeah. It really is it, especially for the, the floral one that we showed you in the beginning. That's yep, all it so is. Simple. Yep. And when you put it together, you put color to color, white to white. So I'm going to trim these off. I'm laying my ruler a quarter of an inch on the uh, other side of the seam. Um, Misty, I will have you press them, and I'm going to trim this off dangerously right there. Ooh, I know, right. living on the edge. Sorry, I just kept that thread connected <laughs> and flipped it around. It works. It totally works. There we go. All right, so you're going to need four of these to make your block. And this literally is, this is the whole quilt, literally, mm -hmm. yeah. for, 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 you know, for making the X's and O's. So I have four of these made right here. I have three that I've done the, the corners on, and I'm just going to set that over here. Because now we're going to make the sashing strip. Now the sashing strip is super easy as well, because you're going to take a three-inch strip. Let me measure to make sure this is three. Yes, three. All of a sudden, my mind went blank. You're going to need a three-inch strip of your of your um, accent fabric. Accent fabric. Thank you. I do so much better when Natalie's here to <laughs> remind me. And then you're going to need a two and a half inch strip of your background fabric. And you can see there's a little a little bit hanging over the edge there. And we're just going to sew right down this strip and sew those together and press them to the dark side. Now I have one here that's already done. And, um, and, and so here it is, and you can see I've sewn, maybe you can't see, but I have sewn right here, a quarter of an inch, all the way down it, and then I'm just gonna roll this back like this. But before I do it, I'm gonna cut my pieces out of this. I like to cut before I iron because you're covering less territory. And so these are all just two and a half inch pieces, and you're gonna need four of these for your block and, um, and that's one of the things I love about our little ruler here is you don't have to, uh, you, don't, you don't have to even worry about the measurement because it's two and a half inches wide. So you're just laying it on the edge. And my edge was a little crooked, so I straightened that up. And we're just gonna go two and a half. And Misty, maybe you can press yep, these open absolutely. as we go. Two and a half. And we're gonna need four of these. Three. And then one more is four, like that. And then you're going to need one single two and a half inch square. One single two and a half inch square. All right, so now that these are opened, what we're going to do is we're going to take our blocks here and we are going to put them in between these. So we're going to sew this like this and turn this one. So this is how it's going to go. It's going to go like this, bottom row, and white to the color, and color to the white. So that always helps you remember. These two are going to go in. We're going to put a strip here like this, color to the middle. And then for our middle strip, we're going to put two pieces like this, but we're going to sew a square in between. So I'm going to have you do that one first. Okay. This is such and this a fun block. Makes our little sashing block. <laughs> it's so simple and so simple. But but what a difference it makes. It that's really does. that's my favorite thing about quilting is you just change this one little thing and you get a whole different look. Alright. One more side. And Almost then there. Natalie's gonna be the busiest stop today. I know. <laughs> I got the good seat. <laughs> And then this one? Yeah, let me take, let me go ahead and pull this out and Misty can uh, iron this while we're moving along. Moving along. That's right. Yeah, okay. I'll get these ready for you. Oops. And I'm showing you how to make I a... I wiggled a little on that one, <laughs> sorry. <all> right. <laughs> but I'm showing you how to make a block. When I started doing these, you know, I divided them in half and I just sewed that piece you know, I chain piece like a whole bunch of them, uh, the middle piece on this side, and then I came back and added the other side, you know. Awesome. So uh, it goes really fast. <clears throat> All right, so now we have these, and we're going to have you add the other side. The other side. Okay. So that guy. I don't remember how I had it laid out. Oh, I'll let you press It'll that. It'll be fine. Oh, All right. That's the great thing about a scrappy quilt. <laughs> Doesn't yes. really matter. <laughs> so, such a good idea. And this one. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, maybe. There we 
we go. All right, and now you get to sew this sashing strip to this one. And, and this is kind of cool because it gives you um, this center, this little center block is what, what you want to match up here. And so you'll be able to keep those seams nested and your block will line up just perfectly. Okay. Right, Natalie, perfectly? So perfect. So perfect. <laughs> Not perfect is still good. Not That's perfect right. is fine. <laughs> good enough. No one's ever given a quote back to me because it wasn't perfect. No. <laughs> I mean, maybe Hillary. <laughs> no. Oh, Not Hillary. Just kidding. Hillary <laughs> <laughs> okay, loves my quilts. Yes. I'm just giving her a hard time. <laughs> As sisters do. That's right. That's right. And then this one can go no, on this no, side. Just exactly. Oh, I do. <laughs> perfect. You're perfect. I am so not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, and good enough. And you'll see then. that when you press this open. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'll just do like this so yeah, that we'll it's, just, it's just like look back. if it's good on a galloping horse, you know? No <laughs> mistakes, right? <laughs> no mistakes. Yeah, somebody said that to me when I very first started quilting. They're like, it, that looks great from a galloping horse. And oh. I was just like, I love you. I just love you. <laughs> Because, you know, we, sewing is a learned skill. Absolutely. You know, you get, a, you get better every day, so. I mean, my, my whole feeling is that if you sew an hour today, tomorrow you're better. Yep. All right, so okay. here is our block right here. Misty's going <laughs> to press that. Looks awesome, Nat. And so you're just going to do that to all your little squares. And, um, and then when you make these, when you set these blocks together, let me show you what happens. There we go. So I have another one made right here, and when you set them together like this, they are going to form out here this O, which you can see right here, forms these O's. So our block is right, wait for it. Just go all the way to the end. Here. <laughs> Here's our block yep. right here. And we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. So we made 20 blocks out of this. It makes a great quilt. What size is it? Oh, it's 59 by 70. So it's a, it's a great little crib size for quilt. For a toddler. Yeah. yeah and so just remember that's two charm packs. If you want to make this much bigger, add another charm pack. Absolutely. If you do it with four charm packs, it's going to be tw or, you know, twice that size. So it's, yep. it can get big really fast. So I don't be afraid to do that. the sashing is just built right into the block. Oh, yeah. And it's, you don't have to do anything else. Yeah. It's just so quick and easy so and great. it's fun. And that's our first idea for you. And for the second idea, we are on to... It's me! Woo! So I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, this is so pretty, Nat. So much <laughs> different from what I did. Just change one block and look what happens. It's so great. Yeah. So I ended up using four charm packs to make my quilt, and I used Tula Pink's True Colors by Free Spirit. Which are beautiful. Just gorgeous. I just love Tula Pink fabric, uh, so we do. I'm the we luckiest. <laughs> Um, so to make my block, you'll see, you can see if you look at it, the, I have four blocks by five, 20, just the same mm -hmm. as mom's. Nice. But I used four charm packs. <laughs> and so it's a little bit bigger. My quilt is 69 by 82 ish. And, um, I added these wonky star legs to mine. So, cute. so to start, it's I mean, so you're going to make, you'll take your, your four blocks or packs yeah. and, um, separate out sets of four. Okay. So I did blocks that ended oh, so up matching. Oh, you kept your colors together. Yep. Yep. So I have like four yellows and four blues. Oh, that And then makes the sense. center block I made using the same fabric as the border, so you could just buy a big chunk. Right. So that is one and three quarter yards of um, accent, accent fabric, and then three and a quarter yards of background, which would be your all the white squares, okay. which awesome. also includes the inner border. Okay. Perfect. And then what about your backing? We always oh. love Tula's oh, backing. Yes. Tula's backing. I just oh, used this beautiful goodness. print. Gorgeous. I love it. And it this is um this is 45 inch wide yardage, mm -hmm. but she has beautiful 108s too. Yeah, yeah, she does. So for this for this one you'll need five yards if you use off the bolt or two and a half if you have a 108. Right. So pretty. And you put so. sticky buns on it, that quilting pattern. I love pattern. sticky buns. I love <laughs> sticky buns too. It's so great. It just gives it that yeah. swirly. So much movement. Yes. So all great. Right. All right. All right. So once you have all your fabrics separated into colorways mm -hmm. and, and all your blocks, and I just did like, these two look good together. And, and so I set mm -hmm. out all 20 piles. Okay. Perfect. So then you'll make four of the X block mm -hmm. with just the snowballed corners, just like mom taught. Right. 
and then you're going to make your star legs and these are made using a five inch square and some white for background so i have a few made all right so when she's when she's speaking of star legs you know this is what we're talking about here these these white pieces become the legs mm -hmm. yep and, and so I if bet I get to sew those, don't I? You do, Ooh. you lucky girl. I love so it. So if you're particular, you can use a special ruler to make these exactly the same. But I did them wonky. They're all different, and it doesn't doesn't bother me at all. Great. I love it. Yeah. Um, one of the things I did is I just I had a layer cake. I'm right. not. I mean, you can cut these into whatever size strips you want, but I just cut my white layer cake into like thirds. Okay. So it was approximately three and a quarter, three and a quarter, and three and a half. Okay. And then um, if you start at, at one end from the top, you mm -hmm. can use the whole thing. You oh, can use okay. both sides. Oh, yeah. perfect. So I'll show you how to do that. So I just first put a little finger press to find my middle. Mm -hmm. And I wanted my legs to go all the way down to the end. Right. So if you'll stitch this starting from the top middle down to the so bottom. So we just, we just cross over that, yep. um, that yeah. piece. The center line. Yeah, the so all you need is, is a little quarter inch and you won't lose that point. So then you're, you'll press this back. All right. Because we have to do a little bit of trimming to get these legs. And you don't want to wait till the end because then you'll have like a, a chunk of fabric on the back. Right. <laughs> you know? All right. So what you want to do is use your print piece for the pattern. And we're just going to use the ruler along the edge and trim that off. And then trim this off. And I usually catch both these corners on the, on the side, but that's all right. We'll get it. All right, then you're not going to trim off your white. You're going to trim your print off just to reduce bulk. I was going to ask if you did take that off. I, I do. never do. Well, I, I do, do because these prints are so so, oh, so bright that you through. can see okay. them through the white fabric. And that so I sense. wanted a really that clean. A really, that's a really good tell. You yeah. Know, yeah. Because if, if, you, if it doesn't show, it doesn't right. really matter. Yeah. Unless you're hand quilting and then you want to make sure all yes. that bulk is gone. Right, because it's hard, but, harder to go through so many sure, layers. Just Absolutely. Trim this off. So I usually, I mean... Typically, I just line it up on the quarter inch line because yeah. it's a good guide. Yeah. But it, you know, just has to, you have to keep the seam in place. Right. That's it. All right. So to get, to use this again, you have to be a little bit tricky and make sure that your fat end is at the top. Okay. Because okay. if you did it the opposite direction, you'll end up with a, a right. corner that shows still. Which we don't want to do. No. <laughs> All right, and so, the nice thing is, is there's no front or back to the solids, so right, we can use either side. Right, and so you'll have a little hang off down here and a little overlap up here, but uh, as long as you cross them, okay. you'll get good use of that fabric. Now, can I, um, can I, can can this scoot down closer like this so that this doesn't, there isn't so much hanging off up there? Or is, yeah, totally. Is there a rule or no? Okay. No, it just has to cross over, and if you want to start from the top, you can. I usually would start from the bottom just because it's like a a righty-lefty thing maybe, or I felt more comfortable with it. Yeah, but. I would have actually felt more comfortable coming from the bottom, but um, it works either way. Yeah. Yep, as long as you get that. I just that. thought I had to, I thought there was a rule. Nope, no <laughs> rules. <laughs> no quilt police No, quilt, no quilt, police. quilt police. Just get the job done however makes you feel comfortable. There we and go. And so honestly, if they didn't have squares, they could cut like a three, three and a half inch, or three and a quarter inch strip. Probably. And cut their legs out. You know, yeah. Just with background fabric. Yep. Because sometimes we do. And sometimes so I'm still using this little edge, the print, and cutting off that little point that hangs down there. And Cut the rest of the, of the print off. Super simple. And now you have everything you need to make the block, and you're going to assemble it like a nine patch. Awesome. So these make up our middle nine patch, our middle um, pieces. And I put all the legs to the middle. And this is my one piece that I cut from my border yardage. And it's five inches five square. Inches, five right? inches square. Everything stays, Everything stays, stays the yeah. same. Yeah. Okay. And I also, so I tend to get a little wonky when I sew. <laughs> so when I was trimming these, I actually squared them. Oh. I squared my X blocks because sometimes I'd have one that was just like a little Oh, yeah, it gets lump a little Yeah, they can get kind like of, that. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that Off never kilter. happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> per perfect seams all the time. <laughs> but I found that it actually helped me a lot. And, and you can see like some of them are, are, you can still see the pink edge, but some of them I trimmed quite a bit off and yeah. it just helped me out a little bit. I do bit. love, can I just say this about the pink edge? I do love that Free Spirit doesn't have a pink edge. Yeah, they're, they're making nice. them like more exact mm -hmm. now, which is great. Yep. 
All right, so, I am. So if you want to, you can start sewing these together. Well, I do, but I actually want to see what happens if we turn these. It makes a whole different it makes pattern. A whole it makes a whole different, different something, something. The other thing, Misty, will you hand me that little piece of white that we we have? Yeah, look the, how cute that is. I mean, it's so a whole different. So the other thing I wanted to try, and I didn't think of this until after I had assembled the entire quilt, was what happens if I put a white square in the middle. Oh, yeah. Does it like really make that and it's, star pop? It's just super, oh, super first. star. It's almost kaleidoscopy. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All that right, so cool. we're yeah. going to go back to the original. So lots of options. Yeah. And you yeah, may you may see a different colorway show up in block. And don't be thinking. afraid yeah. To, yeah. to try your uh, to don't be afraid to play with it. Don't be afraid to try. Yeah. It. All right, I'm just gonna sew these so, together then. Yeah. Super simple assembly. So cute, and yeah. I think it makes a really great star. It I just, really does. I love how it it does that really like shiny it really thing. It does look like a kaleidoscope with all these beautiful tulip pink colors. It's yes. so pretty. And I love how it creates these little secondary diamonds. So my quilt is called Diamond Hugs. Love it. Because <laughs> oh, it has diamonds it. and hugs and it's just adorable. It is so, so good. <laughs> Great job. All right. Now I just picked up the first two of all three of these. They're chain right. pieced together. I'm going to flip this around the other way. This is such a great chain piecing trick too. And, I love uh, it. And chain piece it then from the bottom up. Yep. And you always know that your little X block, the white goes to the white leg. So if you get confused, you're, and in the middle, your centers point together. Have all these little mantras that you <laughs> recite you, to yourself you to stay on track. Well, yeah. yeah. And by doing this, honestly, what we do is we make the the thread becomes kind of our pins. You know, mm -hmm. it folds it together. Yes. So white to the middle. It's so great. I love having my quilts made for me. I like know. This. This is just amazing. No, I was just thinking I didn't even have to sew today. And mom's <laughs> so, she's so, so much faster than me. <laughs> all right. So now we're just going to open these up. We're going to make sure they're right. Fold yep. this over. Oh, so good. That's right. And then sew it together. All right. So make sure this is nesting. Let me see. There we go. They should. Mine, mine nested up really easily. I oh, had they, no trouble. Well, they're all five inch squares. And I think that, that <laughs> you made sure your corners were all lined up. You know, that's, yeah. a, that's a, great, a great little tip. Well, and I love that this is such yeah, a nice it's, big block, too. It's so big. Yeah. It's so awesome. I actually think it would be interesting, too, if this was sashed, because yes. the stars would really pop out. Mm -hmm. You know, you, right, like right now, it's, it's a whole bunch of uh, design. You see a lot of design. Right. But, you know, this is so versatile. But we, could, we could add a lot of um, negative space with some white sashing. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, it would get much bigger fast Very with, uh, with bigger. sashing. <laughs> Yeah, when you think about sashing, yep. it you know every two rows adds five inches to your quilt. Right. You're doing a two and a half. Exactly. Yes. And uh, and so it just it just becomes this. It just, sashing really helps your quilt grow. If you ever have a quilt that's smaller, and you all of a sudden you like put it on your bed and you're like that's not going to work, you know. I mean, if you sashed it, it would be it would get way bigger. Right. Way there we go. That is just beautiful, Matt. That's gorgeous. So now, good. Show us how that fits in the quilt. Just all right. So this just starts. Top corner. There you go. One, two, three, four. And, and then, then five four, down. Five down. Yep. Yeah. And no sashing. I have a two and a half inch inner border and a six inch outer border. Perfect. I love and it. Perfect. That's it. All right, Perfect. Misty. Now we're going to sew All right. Page. I'm up next. <laughs> okay. So this is my quilt. It is called Hearts and Kisses. And so cute. It is so it's, cute it's and so uh, cute. very Valentine's appropriate, which is, you know, just. It's around the corner. Around but. the corner. I love that yep. you concentrated on the X. I know. I did the O. I was That's so surprised fun. by that. But, you know, I was thinking, you know, the traditional quilt is X's and O's. It means love, hugs and kisses. And so I thought, why not add a heart block with this? So cute. Mm -hmm. For uh, my quilt, is it finishes 69 by 69. And I used um, two packs of 10 inch squares. The first one is a print and it's called Sending Love by My Mind's Eye for Riley Blake. It's this really cute reds and pinks. I love all of these cute prints. And Good then job. you will need a package of background squares as well. And that's just the white that you see here. And so to start with, I made all of my X blocks and I just, you make this the same way. I cut my layer cake in fourths. So I had four or five inch squares. And so then you could actually use four charm packs. You could absolutely yeah. Yeah. use okay. four charm yeah. packs. Yep. Because I'm going to keep all the same prints together right, right. And, mm -hmm. and both the X block and the heart. Yeah. And so so that is nothing new. We're just going to 
set this aside. Well, the aside. setting is a little new. I guess it is, so, yeah. So I think if we put together, this time we're putting our, you know, same color to color, white to white, but we're concentrating on that. On the X, X in appearing. the center, that's exactly right. And so we just put oh, them together so cool. just like that and then sew it together in a four patch and there's our finished block. <laughs> Magic. 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 That's right. And so let's talk a little bit about the heart block next. So we're gonna do the same thing. So we're going to take our ruler and we're just gonna cut this in half, both directions. I love the five inch ruler because you know. just lay it on the edge. Just lay it right on the edge and then come this way. Look at those big roses, aren't they gorgeous? They're so pretty. They're so pretty, and I love these little birds. Me too. Oh, the birds Sweet are so little cute. sparrows. And they have the love birds on them. I know, it's adorable. <laughs> All right, we will stop talking. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now we have our four pieces, and let me get my uh, five inch square. So to start with, we're gonna create the uh, point at the bottom. So we're just gonna take five inch background squares, and we're gonna sew um, corner to corner, mm -hmm. but then I also went ahead and sewed a half an inch over. Okay. So that I could save. Because that's a big piece. That's to a off. big piece that we don't want to waste. Okay. So are we doing the um, the diagonal on this or drawing the line? What do we do? What, um, what did you, you do? do? I use the you diagonal. Could press. Well, you could press you it. You could press a line. You could draw it. Whatever you prefer. But I use the, the diagonal. diagonal. Honestly, I had no idea how freeing this was. It's, so I've sewn my diagonal. Yep. Now I'm just going to come over uh, about a quarter of an inch, right? About a half inch, yeah. About a half inch, yep. All right. That way you get a quarter inch on each seam. Exactly. No measuring there. Nope. And then we're going to go this direction. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Oh, follow my line, follow my line. We'll set this aside for now. This is our extra. We're going to save oh. for a bonus project. And Nat, if you oh, want to hang press on. That's, that. That's not sewn. My needle thread came out. Let me just Oh, no. It. Okay. I got it. No problem. All right. So I need to know what side then, uh, what side I do the... The extra? Mm -hmm. It'll be this side. Okay. And that matters. It does. Yes, because... Well, technically, I mean, some of these uh, prints are a little bit directional. So if you care about keeping them upright, you definitely want to be aware of that because I tried to keep mine all upright just because why not? Um, but if you don't care and you want it to be scrappy, as long as you have that half square triangle, you can make it work. Okay. So, all right, let's cut that in half. And now you can press this one back. Sure. And then let's talk about how to make the top of our heart. So I should have somewhere in this pile, they disappeared on me. Oh, here they are some little two and a half inch squares. And so we are going to just lay these on the top of our squares here, our five inch squares. And we're gonna sew corner to corner this way and this way on both of those. All right. And, and I did them at the same time, just like this. Yeah, you can actually just kind of line these up, can't you? Yep, and then just pivot when you get to that center point. And then we're gonna, so line them up on the corner and watch your diagonal. And again, you can mark these uh, draw the lines, whatever's going to make it easier for you. Pivot. We did a lot of pivoting last year, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, there's that there's one. that one. Thanks, Like Jenny. a little mountain. And now we're just going to... You gonna... could sew another seam and you make a super tiny, tiny half And I thought triangle. about it. I really <laughs> I did. I knew you did. <laughs> And I decided people would maybe think I was crazy. So. Actually, there are a lot of people who um, <laughs> love the tiny. Who I enjoy it. Well, yeah. they save them in a like a they mark they have a one and a half inch little half one a two inch. Well, they I did save not throw them, them away. I do have a baggie of them, so it was it was still too much fabric for me to part with. Because we could make something something crazy. adorable with amazing. Although, yeah, with which, those. I mean, if you just saved them from every project, though, how fun would that be? It would be so cute. See, I'm just gonna right. sew one these more. together. Oh, yeah, Jenny's at it. I am on it. Uh oh. There we go. And then now we can see the heart is starting to come together. There you go. And just like that, there is our heart. And we're just going to put these so cute. right sides together. Oh, one more half square. I might have to <laughs> Hang on, I'm almost Jenny's there. doing her own thing over almost here. <laughs> I'm going to make tiny, tiny, tiny little triangles. Okay. I love it. Okay. All right. So we're just straight down okay. that side. Yep. Awesome. And I'm going to match these up. Oops. 
And then again, these are going to be connected by a thread. By a thread, and you can just lay them together. And I'm going to take these off. You're going to put them in a secret bag That's somewhere. That's right, yep. We're going to keep those <laughs> little tinies. And I'm tinies. going to just open these up and fold them together. And make sure my center seam is nested. You know what, I think this would make the most darling baby quilt Wouldn't it ever. make you a baby quilt? I think so too. Like if you just, you know, if you just did like a, I don't know, a, you just a, a few, few blocks. blocks. Yes. Bordered right. it a couple of times, it would be so cute. There is our it. little heart. <gasps> it's that so if you want to press that. Oh, I would love to. And then as far as layout goes, it is really simple. I just started in the top corner with a heart and alternated. There you go. Parts six, one, and two, X's. Three, and my quilt is six. six by six, so you need 36 of these blocks. So cute. And they just go together so fast. And this block it. really is a fast block. Oh, I mean, it's if you need so a quilt fast. in a hurry, it's one of my favorite for picnic quilts because it's just so quick. Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's super quick. And then this is a two and a half inch inner border and a six inch outer border. So for your outer border, you're going to need uh, one and a quarter yards. And then the backing on this. I oh, use those beautiful pretty big, rose. big roses. It's so beautiful. And you'll need four and a half yards because this is the um, regular. And you quilted cotton. it in hearts. I did. Too. I quilted it in hearts. So it is so, so much fun. I'm really happy with how That's it turned awesome. out. But Super remember, sweet. we had those extra half square but wait, triangles. There's more. There's more. <laughs> we had these extra half square triangles, and I just, oh, that one didn't sew. Oh, that, that was, was when my, my thread broke. <laughs> that was when your thread broke. That's funny. Um, so we had these Do you extra. Want me to press them? Sure, if you would. Okay. Have a few of those. Do you want me to sew them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that sometimes helps. Um, and I couldn't bear to waste them. So I, I made a little table runner. Oh with, my gosh. With that's my so leftover. Cute. And I just laid them out in these flying geese and it turned out really, really cute. But so so this table runner here is uh, using the just leftovers. the leftover pieces from my heart. Um, and so you don't need any extra background or anything for this. You just get this bonus project when you and make this cool. And what's cool too is they're half square triangles. So anything exactly. we did with half square triangles, you can, you can do, do any layout. Right. Ooh, it's so, so fun. Many ideas. So, so many sweet. Ideas. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. This was so fun. It was really fun. So girls, grab your quilts and let's show her what we right. show them what we did. Remind them. So you've got three great ideas for a very simple block, and we hope you enjoyed this triple play from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are not already part of the Missouri Star Quilt family, you can hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.